standard we had learned linear equation in one variable means x plus y uh, x plus five is equal to seven. Okay, so this is the linear equation in one variable. Why it is called linear equation because degree of this equation is one. Here power of x is one. So we call this equation as a linear equation and in one variable because only one variable is there and in line standard we had learned linear equation in two variable okay so it is x plus y is equal to 2 so this is linear equation in two variable here degree is 1 and variables are 2 so this is linear equation in two variable okay now in 10 standard we have to solve pair of linear equation okay means two equations are there linear equation in two variables and we have to solve that two equations okay we are going to check is it two equation have solution or not okay so this is linear equation in one variable this is linear equation in two variable okay so if we consider linear equation in two variables suppose i am considering this equation x plus y is equal to 10 this is only one linear equation in two variable okay and if we have to find solution solution means we have to find value of x and y which are satisfying this linear equation okay so suppose i am taking value of x is 5 so if we put value of x is equal to 5 here we will get value of y also 5 if i am taking x is equal to 4 value of y is 6 if i am taking x is equal to 3 value of y is 7 okay so if i am changing the value of x we will get different values of y okay or vice versa if i am changing value of y we will get different values of x so here we will get infinite solutions which are satisfying this linear equation in two variables okay but if i am taking another equation Suppose x minus y is equal to 7 and or 8 and if I am solving these two equations simultaneously then I will get only one solution which are satisfying both linear equations ok so in this lesson we have to find a solution of pair of linear equation in two variables ok or this is called system of linear equation in two variables ok so now there are different methods to solve the system of linear equation in two variables ok so first we will see what is the solution of system of linear equation So solution of system of linear equation in two variables means that is the pair of values of x and y which are satisfying both the equations. Okay. If two equations are given linear equation in two variables, okay. So suppose if I am giving an example, x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 1. Okay. So here these are two linear equations or we can say that pair of linear equation in two variables so these are equations we have to find solution of this equation means we have to find the values of x and y which are satisfying both the equation simultaneously okay means here if i am taking x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1 so 4 and 1 which is satisfying only first equation ok this is not satisfying second equation 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 but here 1 is there so this two values x and y which are satisfying only one equation so this is not a solution of this system of equations ok so if I am taking x is equal to 3 
and y is equal to 2. So 3 and 2. Okay, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 satisfying both the equations. Okay, so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. This is the solution of this pair of linear equations. Okay, so we have to, in this lesson, we have to solve system of linear equations. This is called system and we have to solve the system of linear equations. Okay, so if system is, means if system has solution, then it is called as consistent system or that pair of linear equations are consistent and if system does not have any solution then it is called as an inconsistent system okay so here this system has solution so this is consistent system okay so there are two words are there that is consistent and inconsistent Consistent means if system has solution, either it is a unique solution or it is an infinite solution. Sometimes pair of linear equations have infinite solutions or sometimes it is a unique solution. So in that case, that system is a consistent, okay? And if system has not does not have any solution, then that system is a inconsistent, okay? Now we are going to learn graphical meaning of the solution of system of equation. Okay. So next point is graphical meaning of solution of system of equations. Okay. So first before graphical meaning of solution, before we learn that graphical representation of linear equations. So we know that in 9th standard we had learned that is uh, if we draw graph of linear equation in two variables then that is a straight line okay suppose if I am taking x minus y is equal to 0 and if we have to draw graph of this equation okay so we know that how to draw graph of this equation this is x axis horizontal line is x axis vertical line is a y axis and these two lines divide plane into four quadrants. This is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Okay. And these two lines intersect at a point that is an origin. Okay. So right side of this is positive numbers or positive integers. And here that is a negative integers. Same way. On the above side of y axis that is a positive integers and below it is a negative integers. So if we have to draw the graph of this equation, first I am preparing table for this equation. Okay, so here x minus y is equal to 0. So if that is meaning of this x minus y is equal to 0 means x is equal to y okay so both values of x and y are same so if i am taking x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 x is equal to minus 1 then y is also minus 1 okay minus 2 minus 2 so if we plot the graph of or plot the points on the graph paper then we will get a straight line okay 1 1 2 2 then minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 okay so if we join this we will get a straight line which is passing through the origin okay so this is a graph of linear equation in two variable which is a straight line so if we take the pair of linear equation in two variables then what is the graphical representation of linear uh, graphical representation of system of equation so that is uh, if we take another equation there is another straight line 
and if we solve that or where that line intersect that is the solution of system of equation so suppose if i am taking this equation x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 1 then if we draw graph of these two equations then that two lines intersect somewhere that is the that intersection point or point of intersection is the solution of this system of equation okay so suppose these lines are like this way now we know that solution of this that is a 3 and 2 x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 so if we draw the graph of this equation so suppose I am taking x plus y is equal to 5 and if we draw the table of this x y so x is equal to 5 minus y so if I am taking value of y is 1 value of x is 4 value of y is 2 x is 3, y 3, x 2, then y 4, x 1, okay, and if x minus y is equal to 1, so if we take points of this, so here x is equal to 1 plus y, so value of x, if I am taking y is 0, x is 1, y is 2, or 1 day, then x is 1, y is equal to 2, x is equal to, sorry, if I am taking y is 1, x is 2, y is 2, then x is 3, okay, so if we plot the point of this equation and this, and if we draw straight lines, okay, so the first I am plotting the points of this, 4, 1, so 4, 1, here, then 3, 2, 3, 2, then 2, 3 and 1, 4 so line is like this way then another one, 1, 0, 2, 1 so 1, 0 means it is lies on x axis so 1, 0 then 2, 1 so this is here then 3, 2 so point is here and then 4, 3 so point is here and if we draw the line then it is passing through the point 3 2 okay so x is equal to so this point is 3 2 so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 is the solution of this system of equation okay so if lines intersect at a point then that is a that point of intersection is a solution of the system of equation sometimes these two lines are like this way means it is a parallel lines okay so if parallel lines are there these two lines does not intersect anywhere so this system of equation does not have any solution okay and sometimes these lines are coincident lines means these two lines are overlapping lines okay so at that time solutions are infinite because solution of this equation is also solution of second equation so in that case infinite solutions are there okay so when infinite solutions are there and unique solution is there then that system is consistent and if parallel lines are there then system is inconsistent okay so there are three conditions to find out how many solutions are there for system of equations okay now we will see that three conditions Conditions for solvability or consistency. That is, that is, that is means if pair of linear equations in two variables are given, and we have to check is given system of equations have solution or not. Okay. So for that there are three conditions. So 
here I am considering pair of linear equations in two variables. We know that standard form of pair of linear equations it is ax plus by plus c. So here I am taking two linear equations. So therefore I am taking a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to zero. a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to zero. So this is a system of linear equations in two variables. Now there are three conditions. If first condition is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, means if I am taking ratio a1 and a2 that is coefficient of x and ratio of b1 and b2 that is coefficient of y, and if that ratio is not equal, then given system has a unique solution. Okay. In graphical words or in graphical graphical meaning of this, if we draw graph of this equation, if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, if we draw graph of that pair of linear equations, then lines are intersecting. So that point of intersection is the solution of the system of equations. Okay. So if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, given system has unique solutions, lines are intersecting, and if system has a solution, that system is a consistent system. Okay. Similarly, second condition is that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2, means first two ratios are equal and not equal to third ratio, then in that case, if we draw graph of that two lines, then graph of that two lines are parallel lines. So lines are parallel. So if lines are parallel, means they are not intersecting anywhere. So if lines are not intersecting, means given system does not have any solution. So here system has no solution. And if system has not solution. Then that system is an inconsistent system. Okay. So if lines are parallel, then system has no solution. So system is inconsistent. And if all the three ratios are equal, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Then in that case, if we draw graph of that two lines, then that two lines are overlapping or coincident lines. So in that case, graph is coincident lines. So if lines are coincident, means these are overlapping lines. So given system has an infinite solution because if solution of first line, that is also solution of second line. Okay. So there are infinite solutions. So if infinite solution is there, system is consistent. Okay. So here infinite solution. And if infinite solution is there, system is consistent. Okay. So three cases are there. First case is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. System is consistent, unique solution. Lines are intersecting. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2, then lines are parallel, no solution, and system is inconsistent. And if all the three ratios are equal. Infinite solutions are there. Lines are coincident, and system is consistent. Okay. So in first and third case, this system is consistent because in first case unique solution is there. In third case, infinite solutions are there. So system is consistent, and in second one, no solution. So its system is inconsistent. Okay. In third one, it is also called as a dependent consistent. So another word is dependent consistent. Okay, so now we will take. There are four methods to solve pair of linear equations. So first one is graphical method, second one substitution, then elimination, and then cross multiplication. Okay, now we will take first method. That is a graphical method to solve pair of linear equations. Okay, first method is graphical method. That is a So first question is solve graphically the system of equations. First one is x plus y is equal to three and three x minus two y is equal to four. 
this first example okay so we have to draw graph of these two equations okay we have to plot the points and then we have to solve this system means where the lines intersect that point of intersection is the solution of the system of equations okay so first we have to find the points for this line x plus y is equal to 3 okay so this we can write x is equal to 3 minus y at least 4 to 5 points we have to find to plot or to draw the graph of this equation okay so x is equal to 3 minus y so if i am taking y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 3 if y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 if y is equal to 2 x is equal to 1 if y is equal to 3 x is equal to 0 okay so these four points are there for first line for second line 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 so first you have to find value of x or value of y so here here Okay. So x plus y is equal to 3, we will get these four points that is 3, 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 3. Now we have to find for the second equation 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So this equation we can write that is x is equal to 4 plus 2y upon 3. Okay. So if I am taking uh, y is equal to 1, then 4 plus 2 that is a 6, 6 by 3 that is a 2. So this is a 2, 1 that is the first point. Then second one, if I am taking 2, then we will get 2, 2, 0, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 by 3 that is in decimal. So we have to take another point. See, so if I am taking y is equal to 4, so here 4, 2, 0, 8, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 by 3 that is a 4. So we will get second point that is a 4, 4. Now third one, if I am taking minus 2, 2 into minus 2, minus 4, so 4 minus 4, that is a 0, okay. Then if I am taking x is equal to 3, we will get another point, 3, 3 is a, if x is 3, 3, 3 is a 9, 9 minus 4, 5, so 5 divided by 2, that is a 2.5, okay. So 3, 2.5, that is we can plot this 2.5 okay so we will get 4 points that is 2 1 4 4 0 minus 2 and 3 2.5 now we have to plot these points on graph chart and then we will solve the linear pair of linear equation in two variables okay where that two lines intersect that is the solution okay now we will take graph chart this is a graph chart now we have to plot the plot these points on this graph chart so first i am taking this 3 0 so this point lies on x axis so 3 0 okay this is x axis this is y axis point lies on x axis is in the form x comma 0 point lies on y axis is in the form of 0 comma y and x axis and y axis intersect that is the origin already we know this all these things okay now we have to plot this point so first 3 0 so this point is here then 2 1 so 2 1 then 1 2 so point is here and then 0 3 now 0 3 means it lies on y axis okay now we have to join these points Okay, so this is the graph of line x plus y is equal to 3. Now we have to plot another point that is 2, 1. So this point is common 2, 1, 4, 4. So 4, 4. Then 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2. It lies on y axis. So 0 minus 2 and then 3 2.5 so 3 2.5 okay 
so if we join this it is like this way so this is the graph of 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 okay it is a straight line we draw by scale or ruler it is a straight line okay so this is the equation of this is the line of 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 and this is line of x plus y is equal to 3 so that two lines intersect at the point 2 comma 1 so point of intersection is 2 comma 1 so solution of this system that is x plus y is equal to 3 and x minus 2y is equal to 4 is 2 1 okay x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 similarly we will take second equation okay second example is 2x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 we have to draw a graph of this and we have to solve this system of equations okay so first equation is 2x minus y is equal to 4 so here we can find value of y that is 2x minus y we have to shift here and 4 shift here so 2x minus 4 is equal to y okay now if we change the value of x directly we will get value of y so if i am taking x is 1 or first we will start from 0 x is 0 then x 0 then y is equal to minus 4 if x is 1 2 into 1 2 2 minus 4 minus 2 x is 2 then 2 2 is 4 4 minus 4 0 x is 3 then 3 2 are 6 6 minus 4 is 2 ok then second one x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 so this equation we can write or here I am writing here x is equal to minus y minus 1 ok so here if I am changing value of y we will get direct value of x so if I am taking x y is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 if I am taking y is 0 then 0 minus 1 minus 1 if y is 2 then minus 2 minus 1 that is a minus 3 if y is 0 if x is 0 then that is a value of y is 0 plus 1 that is a 1 so minus 1 ok so if I am taking y is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 is plus 1 plus 1 and this minus 1 is 0 ok so we will get points minus 2 1 minus 1 0 minus 3 2 and 0 minus 1 ok now we have to plot these points on graph chart So this is the equation of 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. Then second equation x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. We have to plot the points minus 2, 1. So first one is minus 2 and minus 2 
square one. So minus two one here. Next minus one zero. Minus one zero. So minus one zero lies on x axis. So this is minus one zero. Then minus three two. Minus three two. So it is here. Then zero minus one. So zero minus one that is uh, lies on y axis. So line is like this. Way. So this is the line having equation is x plus y plus one is equal to zero. Okay. So here. Point of intersection is minus, sorry, one comma minus two. Okay, so one minus two is the common point or point of intersection of these two lines. So one minus two is the solution. Means x is equal to one and y is equal to minus two. Okay, minus two. Sorry. So we can check here. If x is one, here already the solution. X is one, y is minus two. If we check here, x is if we put minus two here, so minus of minus two is plus two. Two minus one is one. So one minus two is the solution of this system. Okay. So similarly, you have to solve all examples from worksheet. Okay. Understand this one.